First tonight, quackery of the first order. Monica Milka claims to be a holistic healer, but she is no more than a potion peddler. And her so-called elixirs of life have now been debunked by her own Today Tonight test. As Francesca Belperio reports, it's uh, not only Milka milking her patients of money, but she's left dozens of South Australians infected by her toxic cures. That's how you've had this stuff. It's just uh, one for hat hangovers and one for headaches. She's the maverick who makes money by preying on the vulnerable. Uh, you know, I do deep tissue massage and all that too when you're a doctor. Oh, and that's laser. good. What's just a diamond laser? Monica Milka claims to be a qualified homeopath, homotoxicologist and healer. But what she sells is hogwash. It's bogus, it's, um, um, but nevertheless the, the, the claims are outrageous. Already she's infected dozens of Adelaide patients who were treated with a procedure called biomesotherapy. She'd injected them with a substance uh, and that um, where she had injected them they'd erupted in sores at all the various sites of the injection and these sores were quite large. They looked like um, boils or welts. They were probably about the size of a 20 cent piece, um, red, purple, um, whipping pus. And when they came to see me, they were taking antibiotics to deal with the sores. Lawyer Malburn from Tindugask Bentley is representing 14 of those victims who are in the process of being compensated. We're talking in the hundreds of thousands for um, the people that are worst affected. Most people have been left with scars at the injection sites, plastic surgery. You're still paying people out for that, aren't you? Because even... Three years ago, it's all sorted. It was three years ago, woman. Catch up with your... Three years ago for you, but these people are still living with the scars, am I right? Monica is clearly unrepentant and despite SA Health Department imposing limitations on her, she's continued to practice. My clients don't understand why she can still practice. We undertook our own investigations to find out if what Monica is doing is in fact legal and ethical or just and some miracle. Do, what I'll do is take photos of your eyes and we'll go sure. through them and then I'll give some alcohol, some salts to drink and some female tonic. We organised an appointment at a Gawler clinic where Monica tried to sell us her special tonic. So, is, so how often do I take this tonic? Well, first up... Do I need it? Yeah, oh, okay. definitely, yeah. Even so, we were hard-pressed to find out exactly what we were being asked to swallow. And what's, um, what's in it? Uh, all homeopathic remedies and all sarcodes, organ remedies. She didn't actually ask me what was wrong with me. Then how can a tonic help me? I mean, how can it, do you know what I mean? I, I could have had back pain. Can this tonic help me with back pain? Everything you've got in your body is in this tonic. But she did tell us she'd treated Hollywood movie star Hugh Jackman and that her amazing concoctions helped win him a movie role. He needed to get the part for Wolverine, so I put him on the corner set some tonic and, um, and bowel mix and all that stuff and he built himself up to the Wolverines. I made his physique. It's yeah, but what's pack. in it? What's, what's in it's the potion that's going to make him Do you know what that is? No, is it a so, flower? No, it's Confused? Not. Well, we were too. So we decided to take a bottle of Monica's female wellbeing tonic to a NATA accredited chemical laboratory for analysis. We'll come back to the results shortly. And hit ten times. When you hit it ten times, change it one tenth of a not to the frequency you had last time and it works. It's working. This is nonsense in a bottle. Scientists like Dr Ian Musgrave from Adelaide University's School of Pharmacology say there's no scientific evidence to prove homeopathic remedies like Monica's actually work. They're based on the principle that like cures like. Once half the contents of this bottle are consumed, Monica tells patients to refill it with water and tap it ten times to apparently recreate the curative qualities. This is pure magic. This is uh, uh, homeopathy makes a very big uh, deal about properly shaking your bottles, but it has no effect whatsoever. The second principle is that of dilution. The more you dilute something in homeopathy, the more potent it becomes. Again, this is something that we know doesn't work. A typical homeopath dilution is 30C. Ian shows us what that means using coffee and 30 cups of water. So this is what people are paying good money for? Yes, they're paying good money for a glass of water with a whole lot of nothing in it. Unbelievable. And sure enough, the lab results indicate this isn't the cure-all elixir she promises. Basically, this tonic is a mixture of water and alcohol. Uh, so, that's um, it? That's it. 
At $150 a bottle, that's an expensive dose of alcohol and water. Let's go brandy basin. A brandy base? Yeah, it's just a brandy base. There is no detectable medication in there. But it makes you feel good, makes you feel dynamic, your skin just starts glowing and you feel really good with it. It can't hurt you. Homeopathy doesn't work any better uh, than a placebo for any condition. Professor Edzard Ernst is the world's first professor of complementary medicine and author of the bestseller Trick or Treatment. He says while there are some legitimate practitioners, it's consumer beware. Some of these quacks, and I don't hesitate to call them quacks, um, exploit the most vulnerable patients you can imagine. So she would tell you to drink the tonic to get rid of worms? Yeah, to get rid of worms in your body that make you sick. Monica's sister Margot had a falling out with her a year ago. She's taken the tonics before. It tastes like brandy. And Monica injected her, promising to heal scarring from an operation. I don't even know what she put in the injection, but she made the scar rise, like, on, off my stomach. What she claimed that she could get rid of, she didn't get rid of. She just made it worse. And now I have to live with that. And her bogus claims don't stop there. She claims she can cure cancer. When she first met her boyfriend, Michael, she claimed that she could grow him an eye. That's how you've had the stuff. It's just uh, one for hat hangovers and one for the headaches. Oh, cool. Yeah, just add it to your water. We paid Monica a visit at her second clinic that she runs from a shed behind her deli in Wallaroo. Well, look, let me be honest with you. I'm, my name's actually Francesca, yeah. and I'm from Today Tonight. Yeah. And I wanted to see if I could ask you some questions about homeopathy and what you do. Yeah. Could we do that? Yeah. To the guy? Can we ask What do you want? Now? What do you want? But can I just, uh, or maybe we can just do it later or something. Sorry, I've just got a problem with here. What's wrong? Can we meet her out the back then or something? She agreed to meet us out the back while her partner kicked us out the front. And I just want to, don't, don't push me, don't, don't push me. I'm not, I didn't touch you, look at my hands. Could you leave the premises? But look at my hands. Unfortunately, Monica wasn't willing to conduct a face-to-face -face consultation. Look, we've had her tonics tested. <laughs> so what? And all that's in them is alcohol and water. Yeah, that's a, that's what you know. You're, you're stupid. But they've been tested by a scientist. You can't even test them. There's, no, there's test no test available in the world to test homeopath in any sort of way. So there's no test available in the entire world that can test homeopathic remedies? You're nothing but a liar. How can she charge $150 a bottle for alcohol and water? I get a cheaper bottle of wine. Don't you think? No, you're not smart enough, woman. You have to wonder how she's allowed to continue operating. Even the Australian Homeopathic Association told us Monica wasn't a registered member and that some of her treatments are not professional homeopathic practices. I can't see myself any laws that actually prevent someone uh, from saying, I'm a homeopath, um, you can come to me and um, I can practice. Monica's no stranger to the health department. She was blacklisted in 2009 as part of a parliamentary inquiry into unregistered health practitioners because she claimed she could cure cancer. We reported our findings to the health department last week and they told us they'd already investigated Monica and they'd restricted her practices. I don't think in South Australia at the moment you can go to a homeopath with the same sort of confidence that you can go if you want to see a doctor. Obviously, the department isn't monitoring her activities because Monica's still out there selling her magic to the unsuspecting. I would shut it down, absolutely. It's water and brandy. <laughs> People spend a lot of money for it and, and uh, it simply doesn't work. Absolutely, and the health department has promised to do a second investigation into Monica.
ที่ได้ติงบาร์เดลอยอ่ะ